Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things, your daily dose of nerd news. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at an invasive cockroach species that might set its sights for Canada, and a new treatment for leukemia might be the best thing ever. So first up today, an unfortunate part of living in the city is occasionally seeing a creepy crawly thing skitter out from under the fridge. And it gets even worse when maybe it likes living in the fridge because it's an Asian breed of cockroach that's highly resistant to cold. And it will probably just dwell inside your quickly cooling corpse as winter comes. The Paraplanata japonica, or Asian cockroach, I guess that's what we're calling it now, was actually found in 2012 in New York, an exterminator would took care of a particular area and found it was like hmm this is a little different i think than a normal cockroach um, he's an exterminator he should know his cockroaches sent off a lab for testing found out it was this specific species so this will be the first time it has been sighted in north america or at least confirmed sighted it's pretty easy to imagine where it could have came from i mean it's from china so we, we get a lot of shipping from china and it's easy for something to slip by but like I said, unfortunately, this thing is resistant to cold, so please no one tell these cockroaches that Canada is a thing. And moving along, a new strategy for combating various forms of leukemia has found success where other treatments have failed. Several different studies from all across the United States have shown the effectiveness of gene therapy in combating a bunch of forms of leukemia. Myeloma, lymphoma, acute and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. They've all been pretty much eradicated in patients that have gone under these treatments. And the treatment itself involves filtering out the white blood cells in the body, isolating those T cells, and then in a lab, adding in a gene that's supposed to specifically target the cancer. And then, you know, just simply combine it all back in the body. It takes a few days for it to fully integrate. One study had 24 of the 27 participants in complete remission after the treatment. And all the other studies have had similar or almost as good results from this. And these are people who have gone through every other type of treatment available. People have been on 10 different types of chemotherapy, and then they have the gene therapy and they're good to go. Now, after like six years, some of them, the cancer has popped up again, and they're looking to see if a secondary treatment might actually be effective in combating this. And this could be one of the fastest things approved by the FDA. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania have actually contacted a Swiss drug manufacturer to get the whole thing started. It looks like they're hoping to get the whole thing FDA approved by 2016. Now, since this is the states we're talking about, and it's a little outside the normal thing, we do have to talk about cost because Americans are silly. The actual treatment itself actually costs about 25 grand per person, which may seem like a lot, but for one, you're saving a life probably. It seems to work very well. And two, that's actually cheaper than some drugs that you take in place of this. And it's a lot cheaper than any sort of the donations uh, you need for like all the organ stuff and the bone marrow transplants. Way cheaper than those procedures. And like anything, any sort of technology advancement, the more we do it, the price will go down. So that's just the start. I mean, it, it, with wide dispersion, it's gonna keep going down and down and down. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. Ugh. And if you crazy neo-ludites get all uppity about the gene therapy thing, you just shut up, okay? This is doing good. Keep it to yourselves. Jeez. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. And what I know, wanna know from you is, do you think those Asian cockroaches are actually, because they are, actually embedded by the Chinese government so they can make their way into Canada? Because you know China cannot invade North America without first taking out Canada. Because we're, you know, we're, we're the linchpin in their whole operation. They're coming for us, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you, if you know what's going on. And of course, if you like what you've seen, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button, wherever that happen to be. And we'll check in the next video.